relatively out is a view group that displays child views in relative positions. The position of each view can be specified as relative to sibling elements such as left to or below another view or in positions relative to the parent relative layout area such as aligned to the bottom, left or center. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. Okay. So how to create a relative layout and how to work with its attributes. We start by making in the layout folder a new resource, layout resource file. We will name it as relatively, relatively. You can name it whatever you want. I'm distinguishing them by the adding Y. I will put here, not a linear layout as we have done before. We will create it as a relative layout as the root element. And we click OK. This will create for us a new empty layout and having, we are ready to drag and drop or we can add them into the code. So I prefer adding them in the code in the XML so we can start adding our widgets, our child, our children, our nested views inside this relative layout. So this is the view group and this is the views that we are going to create. Now, we have seen in the linear layout that we are adding the elements in a linear manner, either in a vertical or in a horizontal way. Now, a relative layout is a very powerful utility for designing a user interface because it can eliminate nested view groups and keep your layout hierarchy flat, which improves performance. If you find yourself using several nested linear layout groups, you may be able to replace them with a thing, single relative layout. So how to position the views? Relative layouts lets child views specify their position relative to the parent view to e or to each other specified by ID. So how to align them? We start by making a new text view. This is the chi child of the relative layout. I will make it as Wrap content is good, and here is wrap content. Its ID is text one, and it's good now. Okay, this is the first text view. Now, the second text view would be here. I will make it. I will make the text here. Um, text one. Okay, so it appears. See guys, it appears here. Size, I will increase its size in order to make it better to understand. 32 text dp. Now, if I create a new text view with wrap content, wrap content, and the ID here is text two, and the text size would be also 32. And I will put the text as text two. Text number two. Okay, they are all looped uh, on each other. So how to do that? how to arrange these, um, these two elements, these two children with together using the relative layout. So we use a property which is defined in the layout, in the relative layout, which is the layout above align 
align and align left and so on layout below I will use layout below and here as I told you we should specify the ID of the top one the top text or the top view that this text view number two will be replaced under it the ID is text one okay so you see guys that text number two has been replaced below the text number one this is the importance of using the uh, the relative layout another property i can make is layout align align center let me check layout align uh, you can start start top right button i will make as align right to the id of um, let me check i will create a new text view and i will add this property to it so text view copying here i will copy text view here and will make it as text view 3 and this text view 3 would be not below it will be align right to what to text view number two okay text number two and i will create layout below id which is text number one so you see guys that we have replaced it below and now we align it to the right if we make it match parent here and we can make the this property like see android align at the end align and add the id of text two or we can use the align start you see guys how we have aligned these properties how to align wrap content i will make it how to align them with the text views and how to align them with each other according to each other so we can make it below number two so you see this is not below number two so text number three is below number two and two below number one you can also declare the alignment so how this works it will works by using the match parent property and the height match i will keep it match parent and this will be match parent and this would be match parent so you see guys that this text because we have aligned it to the end we can make it aligned to the start okay and you can make whatever you want also lay out uh, align align um, center horizontal can make it as central horizontal and so on so this would be very important when making a complex ui okay so align parent ui one of these properties is align parent right align parent right right and i will put like true so this would be matching the parent to the right okay so this text would be aligning everything and it would be aligning to the right but to the left of we can use a method or a property 
an attribute by making Android. I, I remove this. I can use another property to left off and I will specify text to see guys how it have been uh, removed because I am not re I am making it as below if I remove this below it would be making to the left off I will make it to right off and here it have been displayed in this way okay so I am playing with the layout here in order to discover all the properties in and the attributes in the layouts okay also you can do the same way later on when we work with the relative layout we are going to make a positioning layouts below or the right or left or whatever you want by by cho choosing and making the attributes more and more simple simple okay so um you can play with the gravity you can play with the uh, alignment you can play with uh, uh, start off and left off and other properties okay so this is for the relative layout we have created a relative layout having three text views and we have seen how to work with 